she's known as losing streak Lois, a 56 year old gambling addicted grandmother who allegedly murdered her husband in Minnesota and went on the run, landing in Florida where she met lookalike Pamela Hutchinson, who she allegedly shot and killed in cold blood. Lois Reese then took her victim's identification, credit cards and car and headed to South Texas. That's where the former fugitive grandma was spotted sipping a drink at a restaurant bar and then taken into custody. Now new details are emerging about the days Lois spent in Florida and what may have sparked this grandma's killing spree. And joining us now is CrimeOnline.com's Nancy Grace. So Nancy, what new information do we now know about double murder suspect Lois Reese? Well, this is the most recent. Her son is standing by his mom, saying that she is a good lady and that she must have just snapped when she murdered her husband, David, and then went across the country to find a lookalike ending up killing Pam Hutchison. He says that she had been having psychosis and that she had about $100,000 gambling debts. Now, I don't know about any psychosis because she managed to cover up her crimes pretty well, but it goes to show the love of money is the root of all evil, Jesse. Well, Nancy, according to reports, Lois is refusing to take her psychiatric medication. What do you make of that? I heard that too. You know, I can see where this defense is going. That tells me this is going to be a mental defense that could be incompetence or insanity or mental defect. It's not going to work, Jesse, and I'll tell you why it's not going to work. Number one, they've got to go with mental defect because she's caught dead in the water. All right. There's no way out for her forensically. The bullets match up to her two victims. It's her gun. She's the one stealing the car of Pam Hutchison. She's dead in the water. So what else can she do? Mental defect by not taking her medication, if there even is any, that shows that's the avenue that they're traveling. They'll claim insanity. Well, Nancy, at this point, we know that Reese has been extradited to Florida to face murder and theft charges. What new details have emerged now about her days immediately after the murder of Pamela Hutchinson? Well, I can tell you this. She was living like a queen. She takes Pam. First of all, she kills her husband on a worm farm, leaves his body, steals about $11,000 or more from his accounts and hightails it to Fort Myers, Florida, where she's looking for a victim. Why? She needs a new identity. She knows they're looking for her. So she finds a doppelganger, Pam Hutchison, lures her to Pam's condo and kills her. She then uses the ATM and gets $5,000 of Pam Hutchison's money and her car. She goes straight to a hotel and orders room service and a movie. When she's finally caught, she's slinging her silver hair around, that's what brought attention to her, walks in and demands to see the menu. She's probably looking for her next victim because she had to get across the Mexican border. All right, Nancy, quickly take us inside the courtroom. What can she expect when she faces trial? Well, first of all, she's already charged with murder two in Florida. If that is upgraded to murder one and the shooting death of Pam Hutchison, which I think it may be, she could be looking at the Florida death penalty. Why? Because if you look at the scene, Jesse, she shot Pam twice, the side and the head. And then she covered up that space between the door and the floor with towels. So the smell of the body would not get out and alert people to the fact that Pam was dead. She clearly knew what she was doing. Doing. Then she shows up on Close Circuit TV jauntily wearing the victim's hat. No shame, Jesse. That is murder for pecuniary or money interest. That's an aggravating circumstance which calls for the death penalty. All right, we'll keep our eye on the story. Nancy, as always, thank you so much for bringing us the latest.